So we're going Asian Latin fusion here. And the reason I do that is because not everything can be Mexican, even though we love Mexican food, right? So I'm gonna show you how to make amazing dumplings. We're gonna start out with ground elk. And the only way that this is gonna bind in the actual wonton is by adding an egg to it. So we're gonna crack an egg. You're gonna also mince, remember, spice it up tip, the ginger. Then lime. Zest that and put some tang in there. Then we're going to chop some cilantro. We're gonna add a little fish sauce. If you've never used this before, it is so powerful, but it can actually make a mark on your dish. So you just wanna add a little bit. And by what I mean by a little bit, I'm gonna show you right now. Like that much. I keep telling you guys not to be afraid to use your hands and don't be. Because what happens with your hands is the best utensil you've got. So once you get all that, gonna wipe down our hands and I'm gonna show you how to make some awesome dumplings. Wontons are gonna be your best friend. Now, I'm gonna show you two different forms of doing this, and you're gonna find your own way of doing this the best way. So you're gonna grab one of these guys, add a little bit of water, and what the water does is it binds it, and add a little bit of the elk mixture, and then you're gonna grab all four tops, and you're going to bind them all, and make them look like a beautiful little purse. Just like this. Second method. Grab another one, and it really just depends. I mean, I'm gonna steam these, but you can certainly like fry them. And all you're gonna do with this one is flip one corner to the other and bind it with your hands. And in this one, I would say fry it on one side, turn it over and fry it on the other. You can't put a dumpling directly into this stainless steel steamer because it's gonna stick to the bottom. If you want to grab some banana leaves, you know, if you don't have banana leaves, you can do like a lettuce, you can do parchment paper, and usually what you do is use the lid and just cut around it, just like this. So you're gonna take your banana leaf, you're gonna put it in the steamer, just like that, and you're gonna add your dumpling in there. While that's steaming, we're gonna show you how to make a quick little sauce. While the dumplings are steaming behind me, you're gonna get some Dijon mustard, some sriracha. So you're gonna mix this up, Ponzu is an awesome sauce from Japan that's got lemon infused into it. We're gonna add some lime. So it's gonna have some spice, some tang. I'm gonna put it in this ramekin and have it ready, because once those dumplings come off that steamer, they're ready to be served. So now we're ready to take the dumplings right off the steamer here. The easiest way to serve these dumplings is just to serve it right in the steamer, remove the lid, and all they have to do is start the dumpling right in the sauce. Doesn't get any easier than that.